Welcome back to our Dana Open Special. Now this week we'll all witness how the pros get it done on the course. But it doesn't mean we couldn't give it a shot, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> My swing shouldn't be on TV, but here you go. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Right into the a little, a little left, but you know we're good. Well, we can both still see our balls. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good start. You know, I think I pulled a hamstring on that tee shot. Are you, are you oh, okay? Yeah. I can walk. All right. Yeah, this is your ball right here, isn't it? Well, I guess it's predictable that neither one of us made the fairway with our first <laughs> shot. <laughs> Hello, Ruff, my old friend, Ruff. Get there, ball. Ooh, that's aiming for the trees. <laughs> hey, it popped out. You got some clear, clear skies. That wasn't bad. That wasn't terrible. No, that was good. Don't pay attention to the form. It's not very good. There it is. That's heading for the bunker. I think that's heading for Metamora, Ohio. There it is. Get left. That's a good shot. Get on the green. Oh, wow. All right, you're going to want three. You're going to want to get that one, Jake. Look at that thing roll. <sighs> what is it about this hole? I'm hitting the ball great. We seem to hit the ball so well that our cart decided to uh, not work. So we could just get more steps in and, and admire our shot here. Both our shots. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Almost had it. Ladies and gentlemen, this putt for par. Get in the hole. It's got a chance. Oh, get in there. Oh, <laughs> I was robbed. Right, well, bogeys to, to end uh, our hole. Not too bad, right? <laughs> at my level, I'll take a bogey anytime at Highland Meadows. Right, absolutely. Well, we'll see how the professionals do it here later this week. Certainly looking forward to another edition of the LPGA at Dana Open. Hopefully, our perspective here kind of sheds some light on what the golfers might experience. It's not easy, that's no, for sure. That is for sure. <laughs> About you, but I would take a bogey on that hole, on that course, rather, any day. It was funny because he <laughs> hit his approach shot to the green and like he was dead center, beautiful shot. Pressure was on me. I can't believe I came through too because I, I've been having all summer long, I've been having trouble with my approach shots. We're tag team. Hey, it worked out. It, it worked out. It was a pleasure playing with you, Dan. Back to the pros. <laughs> Rose Zhang will be a player to keep an eye on this week. She's really good. The 20 year old out of Stanford, one of the LPGA's biggest stars right now because she recently won the first pro tournament she ever played in. Not a bad way to start her career. Could her second victory come at Highland Meadows, like Sari Pak? Well, here's what she said heading into tomorrow's play. I was originally going to come into this event as an amateur, um, but now that I'm playing as a professional and I'll be in the field um, trying to go after the title is um, something that I, don't, I haven't really thought about, uh, but now it's just kind of the reality, and I'm really enjoying it. Sticking with up-and-comers, how about a teenager from Ohio who put on a show earlier this week, Chase Bachman, back with us now and tells us about Mia Hammett, Chase. Well, Dan Tyler, that's right. There's one golfer this week you've probably not heard of yet, but you may know her very well in a few years. Mia Hammond qualified for the Dana Open on Monday, and get this, she's only 15 years old. Hammond plays high school golf at New Albany High School in the Columbus area. She's been winning some junior national championships for a few years now, and her website says she has a plus five handicap. At Stone Oak Country Club on Monday, she won with a five under par performance and only one bogey. She's been in some big tournaments, but this week she will be somewhere she's never been before. I think for now, I just need to take it all in. Um, it's going to be such an amazing experience. Um, Obviously, the next two days, I'm going to take the practice rounds very seriously and just try to learn the course to the best of my ability, um, get a feel for everything and just surroundings. I mean, it's just going to be such an amazing experience, one that I'll never forget. Obviously, this week is going to be much bigger than the USAM, uh, way more competition, higher stakes, but I'm really ready for it. And I think today really shows that, you know, I can go out there and go low and do what I need to do. Hammond will tee off for the first round Thursday at 2 o'clock. Reporting live in studio, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11. Dan. I'm stunned a high school girl can go out and shoot 500 parts Stone Oak. All right, time for our final break here on our teeing off the Dana Open special. When we come back, we check in with some golfers away from the course. We'll be right back. Plus, yeah, we'll hear some from the favorites every year at Highland and Meadows. Stick with us as well when we come back.